Hi and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be doing a review of Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. That was good. We nailed it. Um, so this book was published in 2015, but we finally read it this year. Oh no. <laughs> My book. I rated this book a 4 out of 5. I would also give this book a 4 out of 5. Yeah. Um, we did this book review a little differently from when we read My Lady Jane. Yes. We didn't split it in sections or really post a note. Well, I didn't. Amber did. I posted it. Um, we kind of just read it at the same time. Yeah, when either of us had free time, we read it and decided on a deadline we would both have it read by. Yeah, and then... It worked a lot better. Yeah, I think. Also, Amber got it from the library, so we had an actual deadline. Yes. So this book is about a girl called Azure, and she is suffering from, I guess, an illness that no one knows what it is, but she can't really breathe and she's slowly dying. And she always has hallucinations where she sees like ships in the sky. <laughs> um, and then once she started seeing the ships more, she started hearing voices and people calling her name and saying like, Aza, come out, come here, we're here for you. And she started getting really freaked out and thought that her illness might be progressing or there might be a side effect of one of the drugs she's on for it. Yeah. Um, and then started research. She and her friend Jason, who... How do you describe that? Jason's interesting. <laughs> oh, his relationship with her? I mean him and his relationship with her. He's very strange. Um, but he likes her and she likes him. And he's also ridiculously smart. Yes, very, very smart. I don't know. He seems... He developed two apps yeah. and ways to produce them. Oh yeah, and he's really like smart. So he's like a little genius, right? Yeah. A genius. Yeah. Uh, but they do research, um, which turns out is based on Maria's actual... I'm sorry, let me turn that down. <laughs> okay, there we go. It was just uh, my mom. <laughs> um, yeah, in the book, Jason and Aza do research to try to figure out what it is that she's seeing, and it's actually based on the research that Maria did that she found out about actual legends and folklores, so the whole book Magonia is based on the actual folklore, which mm. is really cool. That's really cool. I did not look into that at all. Yeah, it was in the acknowledgments. I didn't read those <laughs> this time. I wanted to know if it was based on real legends. I did too, but then I finished the book and I forgot that I wanted to research it, so I just haven't. Uh, that's pretty cool though. Yeah, and it says that all of, um, in the book, Jason is like going off to Aza about all the things that he researched, and she said that those facts that he found and references that he cited are based on things that she found when she was writing the book. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I After I finished the book, well, and when I was reading it, I'd walk around and if it was cloudy I'd be like, I wonder if there's whales above me! <laughs> Small whales! I did not like the beginning. I agree. The writing style is very different, I guess. The book is very unique, I found. But the beginning was just, I found it really annoying. Like, I found the main character, just anything that she was saying, or any part about her, which was all of it was just really frustrating <laughs> and yeah. annoying. I found that she was very, like, just dark and angsty. Yeah, but too dark, too angsty. Not in, like, a... I don't know. Fun? <laughs> not in a fun way. <laughs> oh, no, I don't know. It was just... I didn't think it was... I don't know. Very good dark and It was a weird start. And then yeah. I got really into it. Yeah. After probably the first couple chapters, once yeah. things start happening more. Yeah, once she went up to the ship, that's when I start to like it. Spoilers. <laughs> well, obviously that happens. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. It says in here that oh. she has to navigate her new life. Not spoilers. But also when she goes up, it goes, um, has a lot more Jason chapters. Yes, because they're not yeah. apart, so it does chapters from her perspective, and then it also adds more chapters from his perspective. And I really like Jason's chapters. Yeah, I like Jason. 
He was a good character. Asa was an okay character. I was really scared. She got better. Um, I want to read the second one though. Yes. Like, uh, yeah, I do. The second one is called Airy. Yeah, I think. Airy. Yeah. If you're reading it and you think, wow, this book is really awful at the beginning, just give it a chance because it, it got really good. Yeah. It definitely picked up. The writing seemed a bit more organized. It seemed like everything got a little bit more together. I feel like everything got a little bit more exciting too. Yeah. Exciting. So it really roped you in more. Yeah, the beginning was kind of boring. And depressing. <laughs> I don't know. What else can we say about this book? We um, liked it. We warned people. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it without giving away stuff. Okay. Well, and don't forget to check out Mackie's blog channel, Coast Family Vlogs. And also, I have a blog that'll be linked down below in the description bar. Oh, and don't forget to turn on the little bell icon so you get notifications every time I post a new video like this one. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>